Hey there, welcome back to Little Lab, the channel that makes science fun for kids. Today, we're going to learn about clouds, rain, and snow. But before we talk about rain or snow, let's learn about clouds. Clouds are made up of tiny droplets of water and dust that float in the air. They form when air rises and cools, causing the water droplets to come together to form the clouds. But where does this warm, moist air come from? Well, it comes from many places. One major source is the ocean, which releases a lot of water vapor into the air as the sun heats up the ocean during the day. Plants also release water vapor into the air. And when the sun heats up the ground, it causes water to evaporate into the air. All of this water vapor rises into the atmosphere, and when it cools, it pushes together into clouds. There are many different types of clouds, each with its own unique look and feel. Some clouds are big and fluffy, while others are thin and wispy. Some are low in the sky, while others are high up. You can tell the different types of clouds by their height, thickness, and how they look. One type of cloud is called a cumulus cloud. These clouds are big and puffy, and they usually have a flat base and a rounded top. They often look like cotton balls or piles of mashed potatoes in the sky. Cumulus clouds are usually in the sky during good weather, but they can also turn into storm clouds if they grow tall enough. Another type of cloud is called a stratus cloud. These clouds are low and flat, and they often cover the entire sky like a blanket. Stratus clouds are usually gray or white and are usually in the sky during dull, gloomy weather. Yet another type of cloud is called a cirrus cloud. These clouds are thin and wispy, and they usually form really high in the sky. They are often shaped like feathers or hooks and are usually in the sky during fair weather. Now let's talk about rain. Rain happens when the droplets in a cloud get too heavy and fall to the ground. Rain can be really fun. Jumping in rain puddles is the best. But make sure you have your rain jacket and boots. Rain forms in a few different ways. One way is when warm air rises and cools as it goes higher in the air. As it cools, the water vapor forms droplets, which then fall to the ground as rain. Another way rain can form is when the droplets in a cloud bump into each other and combine to form bigger droplets. The bigger droplets become too heavy and fall as rain. Rain is an important part of the water cycle, which is the process by which water moves around the planet. When it rains, the water fills up rivers, lakes, and oceans. It also helps plants grow and provides drinking water for people and animals. But did you know that not all rain is the same? The type of rain depends on where it forms and what kind of cloud it comes from. For example, if the rain comes from a cumulonimbus cloud, it can be heavy and come down in bursts. If the rain comes from a stratus cloud, it can be light and last for a longer period of time. Now, let's talk about snow. Snow forms when clouds are very cold and the water droplets freeze into ice crystals. These ice crystals can join together to form snowflakes. When enough snowflakes form, they get too heavy for the cloud to hold and they fall to the ground. Snow is also super fun. You can make snow angels, snow people, and have snowball fights. Just be sure to wear a warm jacket and other things to keep you warm like mittens. Okay, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed learning about clouds, rain, and snow. Like, subscribe, and watch more videos. See you next time on Little Lab.